Welcome back guys to a brand new video now today we have the next bit of Ark Survival Ascended news to cover today there is going to be a lot of videos this week the last weekend that just went by was absolutely amazing we had the probably one of the most fun streams I've ever ever done like i still can't even get over it now to say goodbye to the official servers thank you to everyone that did join me in that stream and then obviously a big like sort of faq q a type thing um for arc survival ascended as well building up to the launch so much was covered so i just want to thank you guys for the support uh also i want to say sorry for no videos of the last two days i barely slept um over like the stream and everything like that I, don't, I barely had any sleep and I've caught back up with everything. I then got ill and then today I plan on recording. And if you are in the UK right now, the weather has gone crazy thunderstorms and stuff. So like I had no, no power for a while, but we're back online. We're fully refreshed and we're ready for an amazing week. Now, if you do hear some noise in the background, it will be the thunder. Every now and then I'm seeing a little bit of light flicker flickering through and uh, it looks like, yeah, it's going to be going on for pretty much the whole night. So sorry about that. Anyway, guys, let's get in with everything that's going on with Ark Survival Ascended. We're going to be breaking down a lot in the uh, in the most recent crunch that we talked about, but this is information from the Discord, extra from that crunch. So the first thing is, is it true that Ark Multiplayer shut down until the end of 2024? What are we going to do now? Now, I don't know where anyone has heard that because no, this is 100% not the case. Um, ARC official servers are going to be opening up with Ascended, which is going to be launching at the end of October. Just like how Jat has replied saying that is untrue. Official servers on ARC Survival Evolve were shut down, but multiplayer is still functionality and there is still, or functional is probably a better word there, uh, and there are a lot of unofficial slash other ways to play. So if you're someone that isn't moving over to Ark Survival Ascended, you can still play the unofficial with Nitrado, or you can still play, um, uh, or you can still play on single player. I do, and obviously there's dedicated ones as well. Um, Asa is launching at the end of this month, well, well, this month, a new Ark game that will have its own official servers. I think we all knew that anyway, but I thought I'd just cover it from what Jat said in the Discord. Um, but yeah, so Asa, very, very soon. We have a little bit on the release date, which is quite funny at the end of the video. So also something, do you know what? Also something I want to check right now while I'm on um, is... Ark was averaging, Ark Survival Evolve was averaging 50,000 players a day on Steam. I'm going to type in on my phone, Ark Steam um, player count and see how many has dropped now the official servers have gone down. Uh, okay, this is it. Uh, Steam charts. Wait, 48,000 were playing 20 minutes ago. What? There's, there was still... There was 247,000 all-time peak, which was one of the DLCs, I think. Oh, no, it was on the last... Oh, no, it was. Yeah, it was. We have, there was 247,000 on the launch of June 2022. So that was Genesis Part 2. Imagine how many are going to be on Ark Survival Ascended. They ended up being 61,000, I think, on the server shutdown, which is pretty cool. But there's still... 48,000 people playing, which, you know, which is just crazy to think with the official <laughs> servers down. Anyway, moving on. So, um, the Steam, a lot of people are asking, where is the Steam, uh, uh, like, thing on Ark Survival Ascended, the Steam page, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, and Jat basically said, now nah, I get it for free because dev account, which obviously Jat's going to get Ark Survival Ascended for free. Um, and he's already done 420 test hours on Ark Survival Ascended. And then he's put, uh, check the box if you received this product for free. Would you recommend this game? Yes. And the, and the review was first review. Nice. Which I'm going to be, I want to know if this, this actually gets posted when, we, when the game gets loaded on the Steam page. Um, there has been some questions asked if when the Steam page going live. Um, once the game has an announcement, there will be no pre-order. So it's going to be a little bit, that's why it's taking a lot longer to have Arc Ascended put onto the Steam Workshop. But obviously it is in review form with the devs. It's in, it's in dev testing. So it's already, it's all on the st uh, Steam page already. It will just be a little bit longer 
longer until us will be us lot will be able to actually buy it the thing i don't like is how we can't pre-install it as well that's what i was nervous about because i was really wanting to play it and prepare it on day one but it looks like i'm gonna have to get myself an ethernet cable and make sure that it gets downloaded as fast as possible on the first day of launch um Next, we have, um, I wonder, someone said, I wonder if any dev kit tutorials are planned. So dev kit tutorials, this is something I've wondered myself for a while because like, if you're someone that wants to get into modding, you kind of have to learn the dev kit yourself without the devs actually giving you like a full launch plan on it. Uh, but they said not really for launch, but perhaps in the future, we are swamped. Though I think Orion's son, the S Plud mod creator who we hired a few years back, intends to put out info on modding related to the new building system. So yeah, if you haven't seen in uh, the video, I was about to say yesterday's video, uh, two days ago when I did the Community Crunch video, um, that gave information on that there's loads of new building systems and ways to build on the new arc. Looking forward to seeing more about that very, very soon. And we also have, um, does anyone know if unofficials will have the ability to enable cryopods on release of Ark Survival Ascended? Because it don't look like any pod-like mods will be available at launch. Admin in a cluster without them is kind of a bit long, pretty much. Hoping Jat is around. So, obviously, yep, yeah, no cryopods at launch. But Jat comes back with a pretty good response on the cryopods here, saying, not via the settings as we've not remastered the content yet. So, what Jat means by this is they have not remastered cryopods yet. They're kind of working on, on things, you know, time after time. So, their first idea to get the game finished was to get the island finished, get the mod sorted out, and everything like that. Um, so that stuff's sort of ready, but for like the future in-game content, cryopods have still not been remastered. They said, though, on I'm sure on launch when we make the dev kit public available, um, uh, well, or publicly available, sorry, dozens of mods will get spun up, including cryos. So if you are someone that's wondering about cryos on launch, yes, someone will pretty much guaranteed 100% make a cryo mod, so you will be able to have them in game anyway. So do not worry guys um if you i know it's not going to be on on official straight away but on unofficial you'll be able to grab yourself a mod for one so and then they will be in the game later on um as as they're releasing dlcs very fast um so yeah anyway um so that's it on cryopods and the final thing to talk about in today's video is pretty much when are we likely to get an actual release date for asa and this is the thing that they keep trolling us with is uh, um, th this person said other than late October and Jat said end of October. So just absolutely trolling us, um, which is, f I find it so strange because I thought we were going to get the gameplay trailer and release date a little bit earlier. Like, so with the Ark Survival Evolved launch back in 2015, three weeks before the launch, they did gameplay trailer and a launch date. And they've done that with a lot of DLCs in the past. But from everything they've been saying, they're actually going to drop the release date for the game and the gameplay trailer at the end of October as at the same time as releasing it. So what I think Wildcard might end up doing, dropping the gameplay trailer. I don't know. I don't want them to do this though. Like dropping the gameplay trailer and release date, or they might just do like a like a ghost drop. They might just drop the gameplay trailer and release it at the same time. But I'd really rather them not do that. I, you know, I want the hype of, you know, the trailer coming out. And then we know in a couple of like, like two weeks time, we'll be playing it rather than us just getting it on the day of the trailer, because then the trailer doesn't really bring much hype. That's what I think personally, because you're going to be going in straight away on day one. I prefer seeing the trailer, looking at the gameplay, getting excited for it up until launch. And then we know that. So yeah, I don't know. I don't even think they have a release date themselves and they have one in mind, but I just don't think they've even confirmed that with their team. So yeah, here's, that's just studio wildcard for you. Anyway, that's no hate, by the way. They make me laugh, but they are going to do this. I have a big faith in them that it's going to be a great launch. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much everything you need to know from the Discord. As you guys know, building up to launch, I will be keeping you guys up to date with even the tiniest bits of information for our Survival Ascended, as well as the Crunch. We've got lots to dive into, um, breaking down some of the biggest bits from the Crunch. So I'll be doing that throughout the week and also keeping you guys up to date with the Discord. Anyway, leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you in my next Ark Survival Ascended video, and I'll see you guys very soon. See you guys then.